Greetings RC Model Geeks and here we are in the shed yet again for part 26 of the DB Sport and Scale Sopworth Pup Electric build. Right, it's a bit of a late start today. It's about half past three in the afternoon on a Friday. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy today if I can basically get those elevators finished. So, uh, basically covered and uh, maybe the hinges uh, mounted in them. So that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to get the old um, covering iron warmed up. There it is. Um, and get on with the covering these two halves. So back with you in a minute when I've started. There is one done. And not looking too bad, even if I say so myself. There it is. Yeah, that's great. So just one more to do. Um, yes, uh, let's talk about irons, shall we, for a second? Um, always keep your iron clean. Yeah, uh, when you're um, ironing on dark colours, or actually any colour really, um, when you iron down the edges, generally you will get that colour on your iron. Um, uh, you know, and don't forget to clear it off because otherwise you then go to cover something else that's a different colour and you end up with these horrible splodge marks all over it. Fix the fill. And uh, yeah, so um, you know, always clean your iron, just wipe it over, make sure there's nothing on there, and also along the edges here. Uh, that's a key part where you always seem to get gunk and crap. Um, so yeah, I use um, thinners on mine just to wipe it over and uh, it stops you getting loads of horrible marks on your covering. There are uh, two elevator halves covered. So the next thing is we've just got to remake the holes in the ends there for the, um, for the joiner and, uh, and then work out where we're going to put some uh, hinges. So back in a minute. So I've got the uh, holes burnt into the uh, into the leading edge of the elevators, and I've got my hinges there. And I don't know if you can see it, but they are smeared in grease. And there's the others there. So now all we've got to do is epoxy those into the halves of the elevator. So I'll uh, get on with that. Okay, I've um, burnt the holes in the uh, uh, in the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer. As the camera goes out of focus yet again. Um, so next thing is just to put the uh, the elevators on there. Right, the elevator halves are in with the metal joiner. I've not glued them in yet because I've got to do that uh, blue, white and red striping on the elevator halves the same as on the rudder. And I'm still waiting for the, uh, the correct colour vinyl to come in. So uh, we can't glue that uh, on there yet. And both sides of the uh, elevator need to be done. That's the top side and underneath. So uh, we've gone as far as we can today, really. Um, yeah, there's no point starting anything else today. I'm hoping that that uh, vinyl will come in tomorrow. Um, and then we can get that all wrapped up. The only other thing I've got to do is bolt the uh, the horn onto the elevator half uh, over that side. Um, but we'll do that once we've um, we've done the colouring on it as well. Um, the general colour scheme of this plane. Um, uh, somebody emailed me and said, "Oh, they hadn't seen any with um, with a linen coloured uh, sides." And um, I'm copying the uh, the Sopworth pup that is at the Shuttleworth collection. 
um, in Bedfordshire. Um, if you haven't heard about that or been there, it's always worth looking it up. Um, they've got a, uh, a website as well, uh, I think it's shuttleworth.org. Um, yeah, it's one of the most interesting places you can go to if uh, if, if you're into um, real sized planes actually, yeah. Uh, there's some very interesting stuff there including of course a flying Sopworth pup um, and lots of other stuff. So yeah, look them up, shuttleworth.org. Right, that is it for the day. So uh, like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to email us, there's the email right there. And uh, hopefully we'll be back again tomorrow for another exciting part. In fact, part 27. <laughs> 27, oh God. Right, see you all tomorrow. Bye.